Holly. Marissa, turning now to Montgomery County. Hateful speech graffiti continues to show up at some Montgomery County public schools. The latest one at Gaithersburg High School, where someone is going around spraying hateful graffiti at some Montgomery County public schools. Our Aisha Khan is live outside Gaithersburg High School this morning. Uh, this is the second time in just the past week something like this has happened, Aisha. Yeah, unfortunately, you know, this is not the first time, um, and it seems like this seems to be a trend happening in all around Montgomery County, especially at the public schools. Um, and here at Gaithersburg High School, yeah, this is the second incident. This time around, though, according to the principal, the N-word found written or scratched inside the paint of a locker inside the boys' locker room. Now, these two incidents at Gaithersburg High School are not isolated. Just last week, swastikas were found scrawled on a couple of student desks, one at Bethesda Chevy Chase and the other at Magruder High School. In December, the entrance sign to Walt Whitman High School was defaced with anti-Semitic graffiti that read, quote, Jews not welcome here. And within that same incident, several staff got anonymous anti-Semitic emails prompting a school-wide student walkout and nighttime vigils. And as I mentioned, you know, it seems that cases of vandalism and hate speech are trending in Montgomery County. Just last week, multiple anti-Semitic flyers inside Ziploc bags were found in the lawns of at least a dozen homes in Kensington. And back in November, anti-Semitic graffiti was also found along the Bethesda trolley trail. For us, um, it's very real. We have students at every high school in the county, and when incidents happen most recently at Whitman, and when they've happened at Wooten and Magruder and all of the other schools, um, it's very relevant and real and scary for our students and our families. Um, we, we feel the threat of anti-Semitism every day. Now, just this week, the county council announced $800,000 in grants to boost security at houses of worship and nonprofits, all in an effort to create an anti-hate task force. Back to you.